good morning everyone. It's a fine cloudy Saturday after morning. It's morning. It's not afternoon yet. I feel like it's afternoon already. I am so tired. But that's amalgamate. That is from an amalgamation of things. So drive the radio if you can hear it. Um I don't know. Um doing okay today. I'm not actually wearing any makeup, holy crap. I said fuck it this morning and I didn't want to wear makeup. Because who cares? I'm back in the pots all day. I smell like fish all day. I don't really give a shit if I look nice. I should. Most days I do. Today I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm just tired, I guess. Yesterday didn't go really that well. I thought it was gonna, but it just it was just a bad day you know not only did I freaking get stuck doing someone else's job yesterday because I didn't finish it uh, the day previous I just it appeared to be yell at Chris today so I don't know. it was dumb I did not enjoy it at all <laughs> so well, whatever you always get the one of those days tired because I played D&D &D last night and that was fun. I, we surprisingly played until about midnight last night so that was interesting. Usually we don't play until uh, or should I say usually stop around 10 not midnight. <laughs> well, the reason why we stopped because I was like guys guys wait I don't want to start this next fight scene because I am super tired. I still have to drive home and I have work in the morning. So they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll continue this another time. So tonight, I believe I'm gonna do, we're going to be doing more D&D. However, I also think um, my father has planned to go to the ice skating rink. I hope it's still open. I guess in Fortuna, they converted over the skate rink to an ice rink. So I'm kind of curious of what that looks like and how that's going to go. But... Uh, so that would be fun. I'll be excited for that. So got a huge bag on my eyes. <laughs> but uh yeah, I you hope know, you guys are all doing well. And uh just hope you're having a good day so far. I don't know, I enjoy doing my work schedule in a sense but in other cases it's like wow it really takes up like the entire portion of my day that uh, you know I could it's one of those things like I would almost rather be either earlier in the day or later in the day so I can either you know have a morning or have a an afternoon but being out on my own, having my own apartment, being able to, you know, 
home, go wherever I want, do whatever I want, and not, you know, have the overbearing father being, you know, being steep. You know, you either have to go faster or slower, dude. I am not doing the ocean at this point. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been, I still have my friends on Facebook and stuff that live in Pullman. And, you know, they post pictures of, like, the weather and how everything's going over there. And I'm just like, oh, it's super cool. I kind of miss it. Because the, the beautiful thing about Pullman is that it has all the seasons. You know, it has a hot summer. It gets, like, 90 to 100 there. It has cold winters. It gets... I, I had, a, I had a, a day where it got up to... Or it got down to negative 8 and you know you always got really good snow and so that was the nice thing about Pullman the bad thing about Pullman it's kind of a small town in the middle of buttfuck nowhere like for reals it was in the middle of nowhere you like if you were to look on a map Pullman's one of those places where it's on the very far east side of Washington and it's right next to Idaho. I could literally on a seven minute drive drive over to Idaho and get into Moscow. Or Moscow, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. Uh, and so, you know, it's like that far south or that far uh, east. And so it's in the middle of wheat fields. Literally in the middle of wheat and lentil. Lentils. Wheat and lentil fields. So, so that was the only downside about it. You know, it's not a big, bustling city. It was one of those kind of like small towns. I mean, we had Moscow next door, which was a little bigger. And then we had Colfax next door, which was about the same size. And then if you go an hour north, there was Spokane, which that's you know, a pretty big city. But in Pullman, I didn't have a car. I personally did not have a car. The only vehicle I was able to use was my roommate, Jackie's. Hi hey Jackie, if you ever watch this. Um, she's a sweetheart. Her and I uh, had an apartment together in my last year there. and It was fun. I miss it. I really do. I mean, it sucked because I was so far away. I was 14 hours away from home. 14. And that, that's driving, of course. 12 hour, what is it? 14 hour drive, 12 hour train ride, and then, uh, oh, I'm not okay. oh, an eight hour plane ride. Because we can, oh, I guess you could have gone from the Pullman Airport, but, um, Sean and I would always go over to Portland first so that I can either take the train or the plane uh, from my mom's house and, you know, get to visit my mother as well. And so, yeah, it's just, it was so far away from home. It made me homesick for the most part, but then again, I think I was mainly homesick for just seeing people and my friends, you know, because I, I left home. I was literally, like, hours and hours away from home. I don't know. I do love Humboldt County, however, I think we need a little bit more, you know, it's not one of those, it's not like Reading, where, you know, you have uh, sections of, you know, hey, they have awesome and cool stores. Humboldt County, yeah, they have some cool mom and pop stores, but I feel like you have to really be searching to find something good, you know, you can't just go to Reading and or, you know, you can't just, uh, like, say, go to Reading and be like, oh, my God, look, there's a world's market. That's awesome. That's a cool place to go. Or, oh, my God, um, freaking... Shit, what was it called? I went to a cool store there, and I was like, oh, my God, I want everything in here. I can't remember what it was called now. Lulz. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of use a little more to make it feel... I don't know. I like cool and weird things, so. And Humboldt doesn't really have my style of cool and weird things. We have a lot of cool and weird things here. Mainly weird. Um, 
But, yeah, so on to my other point, you know. I do miss Pullman. I really do. But I think it's mainly because I was my own person there. You know. Not in the, you know, not in the sense of, you know, I'm not my own person here. It's more of, you know, I got to express who I really was in a sense. You know, when you have those two different personalities when, you know, you're with friends and then when you're with family. I know all of you do. Everyone has a different personality unless, you know, they're real comfortable with their uh, parents. And so, you know, I mean, I'm not totally different when I'm around my parents versus my, you know, my friends. I know, I guess I'm a little more quieter in a sense. But a little more boisterous about my um, opinions, but you get the jizz. So. I was originally gonna have coffee, and then I got sidetracked. Peppermint.
<laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. Um, but, uh, yeah. We hate your times on coffee. Coffee and Monster. Monster is always a good one. I think the best, and it, I think one of my most fondest memories was, it wasn't even on like a caffeine drink. I was going on a sixth grade camping trip to my sixth grade teacher's like farm or whatever. You know, just like one of those fun events that you do as a kid. And before we went, I had a fuse, which I love being a lot of fuses. Oh my god, love those things. Um, what was it? It was pina colada and a, like a good sandwich. And I was just so full of energy. We went. Uh, she had a pretty big farm and there was a little creek bed that had trees all around it. And so we played Capture the Flag. We even played football. And oh, I was just running everywhere. It was so nice. For most people who do know me, um, they know that I hate running. I do not enjoy running. I have very bad knees. I've had both my knees slip, like the tendon go over my kneecap and come back. That's very painful. So I don't run much. Um, and so for me to have that joy and have that, you know, just that excess amount of energy, just be so happy, it's, it's nice. You know? I wish I had a little more energy nowadays, but... I use up most of it at my store. <laughs> I really do. With both my patience and with my work ethic. I try and work really hard. I do. You know, I try and keep myself busy. I try and, uh, you know, try and learn more. That's the biggest thing for myself is I just want to keep learning. I learn new things every day. Um, smoothly and so you know most days are fun and cheerful you know I'm one of the most cheerful people there at work and so you know you really have to get me down when it comes to you know being at work either from a dumbass customer or you know people yelling so but you're maybe buy my cosplay today. That's what I'm excited about. I uh, emailed myself two links that I was going to buy a good Ruby cosplay from. Now, I understand people always be like, oh, did you make that costume or did you buy it? The only reason why I am buying a costume, A, I cannot make boots. Fuck making boots. Oh, I will give you my leg measurements and you can make me a boot. Because I have really white calves. It's not fun to do. Um. Oh, that's green for me. Uh. And I'm also gonna buy the hood and dress. It's for Ruby. Um. Mainly because I feel like it would cost me more money if I tried making it myself and more time 
because I am not the best seamstress and so I feel like I would make more mistakes and it would just look wonky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna get it a little, you know, a little bit bigger for myself so I can, uh, I can mend things and hem them fine. You know, I'm pretty good at that. It's, you know, making entire outfits that I have a little bit of difficulty with still. And so that's my plan is to, you know, get the outfit and then trim it to my size. And then, you know, get the whatever else that is needed. And so, because buying the entire set, like the boots and the dress, um, will cost me, what is it? It was 160? Granted, I did not add tack, uh, shipping in. So, you know, 160 plus a little more compared to, you know, having to get, um, having to get a red material, black material, the, uh, accessories and all that bullshit. Well, I will admit the 160 would only be for the full dress, the cloak, and the boots. That doesn't account for the leggings that I have to get and then a possible wig. Because uh, if, if you guys watched Ruby, she has short hair, and so I would have to get a wig if I didn't want to cut my own hair. I don't plan to, since I plan on doing uh, Ty Lee as well. She has really long hair. It's bad to do. Unless I did Ty Lee first and then Ruby, which that would be chopping off all of my hair, literally. Um, so, yeah, so that'd probably be a little more with that as well. But, you know... We're on a bike expo! Which reminds me, I still need to buy a tricker. I'll get that! I'll get that soon! I should probably get it before it keeps rising. So, well, you know, my friend group and I have been trying to decide whether or not we want to do the AX hotels or if we want to do an apartment, like rent out an apartment down there. Or, uh, you know, do something else. <gasps> so, still deciding on a lot of things. We better start deciding on them too. It's Anime Expo six months away. So, anyway, well, I'm at work, guys. I hope today will be a lot better. I have a lot more shit to do today. Luckily, it's my own job that I got to do today. So, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember to smile. Ciao, guys.